What's going on, my Turkish friends? I have yet another video for you guys today. We got some newish artists uh, with our first song, G Flow and Fuat Ergen. Fuat, I, I don't know if I've made a video on him before. I think I've listened to him maybe once or twice, maybe like on one of my live streams, but don't think I've ever made a song with him um, in one of my videos. G Flow, I know he does a lot of work with Def Con. Definitely listen to him, not as much as others. Uh, but uh, definitely have before. So uh, G Flow apparently made a new album recently. I don't know. It's probably been a while since it has, because uh, I'm usually late to the game as always. But I got some English translations for Panzer Karesi. Uh, I forgot what Akan. Akan is the guy who translated. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Keep doing your thing, and everybody goes up to this guy. It's uh, uh, I don't know if he wants people to sub to him, but it's. I'll try to leave a link down in the description box below. Anyways, let's get started. I also know that Fuat is uh, one of the OGs of the Turkish hip hop and Joker dissed him <laughs> in Game Over. <laughs> Hold up, what just happened? Let's do that again. Dude, what is this production, bro? Oh my goodness, bro. There's so much going on. Different beats, bro. What? <laughs> what? Oh man. What's going on? What's going on? Literally not a minute in and I feel like I've listened to like two, three different styles to different genres of music already. Oh my lord. Even even just this flow switch up, bro. <laughs> it's so hard to follow along, bro. I could like talk about this for days, man. All right, let's just let's just keep going, bro. <laughs> G Fizzle, bro. I like that. G Fizzle in the house, have for Ot Gibi. Yo, the voice and the, the tone he's using here. I like that. I really do. Okay. Got some traditional instruments and Alevi, hold up. If you actually use it, what does that mean? Like, yeet it? Use it? How did you become Alevi? So, uh, Alevi is like a sect of the Islamic faith, uh, as far as I know. 
I, th- I think they're a little bit more secular, but don't quote me on that. I'm just curious in that. Uh, I feel like there's some issues with them. I'm not sure, like, um, like if G Flow and Fuat are like uh, practicing Muslims. Uh, I'm not sure, and they're just. Um, I'm not sure if you're using this as a as like a compliment or as kind of like a looking down upon them. Like how 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 did you become this, bro? Uh, you guys should let me know, cause I'm uh, intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> I like this little uh, little exp- this uh, analogy or this uh, imagery. My wave cleans sand cl- sand castles of dysfunctional MCs. <laughs> you know when you're building a, a you know castle sand castle on the beach and then huge wave comes up and it just absolutely destroys it. Oh, of course you guys do because you guys have beaches there so. Who, if regret is the hell of the past, I'm in heaven now. Is that uh, since when Fuad's been doing hip hop? And then just completely changes. Man, bro, what a roller coaster. Okay. Okay. I I, I don't want to make this too long. It was definitely entertaining. This is not a boring song. Whether you like it or not, it definitely uh, just it messes with you. <laughs> Regardless if in a good way or in a bad way. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out like if I if I really like it or not. I don't know if it's too much for me personally. Uh, but you know, there are certain parts that I really liked. I really liked Fuat's part, uh, for example. I liked uh, G Flow's chorus as well. Um, I like certain uh, certain beats, certain instrumentals that, that were in the song. I guess maybe for me personally, it's just there's too much switch ups, um, and I don't know. Not my most favorite style to do is when you just keep switching it up you know, four or five times in the song. But, like I said, it's definitely entertaining. Uh, maybe it'll grow on me if I keep listening. Uh, keep listening to G-Flow. I don't know uh, what his current style is. Um, from what I gathered, I mean, f- so in the chorus, they're saying they're, they're two rap geniuses and they're like uh, panzers, like the tanks, the, the German tanks. I think they're German, right? And... Uh, is G Flow kind of like an older Turkish hip hop guy, or is he kind of somewhat modern? Because I'm not too sure. Like I know for for certain, Fuat is older and just kind of an OG, but not too sure about G Flow. Like I said, overall, I would say I did like it. I just, oh, I just feel like it's maybe a little bit too too much with the different changes within the song. Also, I want to mention that uh, Fuad has a really way of, uh, I like his like imagery and his analogies in in his flow. So, shout out to both these both of these guys. I enjoyed it. It was really fun. I I like the EDM influences and other stuff like that. That's how you know I have nothing else to say. So, next we have we can go into the next song, which is ATI two four two Everest. You guys have been suggesting this a lot. Sorry it's been late. Uh, sorry it came late, but, you know, life happens. So apologies, and uh, we can get started. You guys told me this is like a drill song, so we'll see. I don't have English subs, sorry guys. 
ist ja Tessa Flau 6 ist ein Genesser Die MC Business Dallas ein Marrakesch Ja, Patron Flau 6 ist ein Gecrack Die MC Business Hold up. This guy right here. He looks super familiar. He looks like some sort of American, um, uh, American, like, a uh, YouTuber. He really looks like this guy on the right, bro. <laughs> uh, this, this guy on the left. <laughs> uh, it took me a while to find it, but I was like, dude, I, I thought, I thought for a certain it was him. I was like, there's no way, bro. How did some... How did a Turkish artist, you know, get this, uh, get this, uh, American YouTuber or whatever in, in this video? But tell me it does not look like this guy, bro. Ah, uh, okay. Anyways, sorry for the distraction, guys. We can get back to the song. Are they playing Monopoly with real money? I always find that I always find this dance really funny bro. Menu garbage. Interesting video, but kind of a stereotypical, you know. We're just missing some cars. I like the graffiti. Sorry, art. I don't know. Some people hate when you say it's graffiti. Or graffiti art, I don't know. Alright, so... I don't know if you guys can tell by my kind of lack of commentary that uh not the biggest fan of the song uh i like the beat i don't know just nothing else to me really was i guess impressive or attractive uh, and like and like not only this video but every other video you guys should know that this is just my own personal taste right um uh, nothing against atr or anything like that but like it's cool you know you can uh, I can definitely hear the song, you know, at parties or whatever like that. But uh, I just, besides the beat, I didn't, I didn't like too much of it. I guess the, the little like flow changes was nice, especially when it was kind of synced with the beat. But uh, I don't know. I just. Hard beat, I just, nothing else was um, really, <laughs> was really impressive to me, so, 
Uh, but thank you guys for the suggestion. Uh, keep writing me down comments, guys. Uh, but yeah, I would rate this song probably six, six and a half. Maybe seven, just because I really like the beat. But yeah, guys, hopefully I didn't uh, hurt anybody's feelings. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks again, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.